In this video, we're going to look at the Huntron Sig Assist feature that exists in the Huntron Workstation software, and also the Tracker 2800 and 2800S, as well as the Tracker 3200S. Let's start by looking at how you enable Sig Assist on a Tracker 2800. Here's the main menu. So to start, press the menu button one time, and then select the values button. Use the up or down arrow buttons until you see the Sig Assist line appear at the top of the screen. Here it is right here. Use the menu button on the front panel to escape back to the main menu. So now when you test a component on a card and get a signature, you now will see a calculated value on the Sig Assist line. In this case, it's showing 110 ohms for this signature. The Sig Assist value is calculated based on the signature data as well as the range selected. So in this case, we have a lot of vertical and horizontal information to make the calculation. However, if you have two flat of a signature, such as this 1K ohm resistor, then we see the value is not calculated any longer. Sigasys will also calculate capacitance. So on this elliptical capacitive signature, you see that it's calculating it at 10 microfarad. It will also calculate bright down voltages when you test semiconductors. So you can see in this case, we have a diode signature with a reverse breakdown and the SIG Assist is calculating that at 0.7 volts. Now let's look at how you enable SIG Assist on the Tracker 3200S. Start by pressing the Menu button on the front panel, and on the touch screen, select the View button, and then select the SIG A, which stands for SIG Assist. Select that button. You notice that the indication for No turns red. Now on the front panel of the tracker, use the up or down arrow buttons to toggle that value. You want this to say yes. Hit the escape key to exit back to the main menu, and now you see that you have a SIG Assist line in the display. So if we test a Zener diode, you see that we're calculating the reverse and forward breakdown. Now notice the forward breakdown is at zero because there's just not enough horizontal data here at the center to calculate that accurately. So we do not calculate it. However, there is enough data to show the reverse breakdown, and it's calculating that at 9.2 volts. Now let's look at how SIG Assist is implemented in the Huntron Workstation software. Let's start by looking at the Tracker tab in the Signature pane. We'll go real time. There's our signature. So now you can right click and select SIG Assist anywhere in the Signature box, and it will give you the calculated value right here, the hardware value here. And it's giving you a forward breakdown at 0.62 volts. Again, this calculated value is based on the signature data and the range that is selected. If you click the Hold button to capture the signature, and then look at a different component, you can right-click and select Sig Assist, and it'll calculate both signatures both the hardware and the stored. Stored is the one we captured with the hold button, and hardware is the blue signature we're looking at right now. And you can see we have forward and reverse breakdown voltages being calculated here. Sig Assist is available in the Signatures tab. When you right-click on the Signature box, you can select Sig Assist, and you'll get the calculated value. In this case, we have a reverse breakdown at 0.5 volts. An interesting thing about the Signatures tab is that you can select multiple scans to display at one time. So let's hold the control key while we select the other scan listed here in the list. And you can see we have both signatures stacked on top of one another. So now if you right click and select Sig Assist, and you can see the values of both signatures being shown here in the forward and reverse breakdown voltages. Let's also look at SIG Assist in the troubleshoot. Here's a viewed scan right now. We have this scan right here being shown. And if you right click, it's like SIG Assist from the menu. And again, you'll be shown the SIG Assist values. We have some forward and reverse breakdown voltages being calculated. If you right click on the signature box and in the menu, you select real time and then get another signature and then right click and select SIG Assist, you'll have all three values being shown. The hardware signature is the blue one we just captured, 
and then you have the two other scans that are shown here. So SIGASYS can be useful if you want to gain some additional insight as to where maybe the problem lies on the PCB. We hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, thank you for watching.